July 2023, Rust adds the Tugboat, the largest man-operable vehicle in the game. But unlike other vehicles in Rust, you can build on it. As soon as I heard about the range of possibilities that this could offer, the first person that came to my mind to try it out with was Spoon Kid. We've been doing challenge videos for years, so living in a tugboat was something we just had to do together. And boy, was it a hell of a ride. Oh, dude, Spoon. Oh, we're fucked. One dead. Another one dead. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go! Yeah. Earlier this year, we revisited the water only challenge. We didn't want to do the same thing again so soon. So this time, land was in play. The only rule of this wipe was that our main base had to be our tugboat. But what was intended to be some humble ocean living turned into a devious game of tug of war. Welcome to Rust. Today, we're playing duo with Spoon Kid. And as much as I'd like to make a long intro, we got to get right into this because this is a special wipe. We are gunning for a tugboat and there aren't many to go around. So we got to get right into this. I spawned right by a uh, ferry terminal. No way. Do they spawn there? Yeah, there's one here and then one at each harbor, I believe. I see the tugboat too. You see it? I see it. Oh shit, I spawned at the very terminal too. I'm at the left of it. Okay. Oh man, I, I need to get like crude on the way there because I can't just go there empty handed. You need to make sure that we have low grade. Yeah. Well, first thing, we just got to get a door on it, right? Because then no one can take it. Yeah, but we have to drive it out of harbor because it's build blocked. Okay, I'm going to look for a recycler here to get some metal. I got a hatchet. Oh, shit. People? I'm dead. Oh, no. What do you have? Damn it. Robert Gamer with a sword. I think they updated the water. It looks a lot better now. Oh, yeah. They updated the water. It probably looks sick now. I haven't even had the chance to look. I'm just rushing to the ferry terminal. It does. I mean, I can try and go for this tugboat. Like, I have low grade. Yeah. Go for that. Paddle guy's coming. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's fucking me up. Dude, he made me waste my 30 cloth on bandages to heal. I see a like a beach tugboat. I don't think that's like the tugboat though. You might be right. So what? It's like one at harbor, one at terminal, one at the other harbor. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I'm here. At the ferry terminal. I got terminal? my torch out. Yeah. Okay. I'm at the left side. Holy shit! Okay, spear guy's going for you. Come to your right. Your bikini, right? Oh shoot! Yeah. This you, no, your underwear. Here, take this, take this. Let me get you in a team. Let's see if we can go kill that spear guy. Oh, he's swimming to it. There's a lot of people at it. I think they That's all That's gotta think... be it. No, it's got a door on the top. That isn't it. That's a uh, prefab. Oh, you're right. Shit. I think it is only at harbors. I think we gotta start making our way to a harbor. Oh, there's a reskin here. I'm gonna reskin my hatchet. Abyss metal hatchet. Spoon and I were able to meet up, but not in the right location. We figured that with the new monument added in this update, a tugboat would spawn along with it. But we were wrong. They only spawn at harbors and are very rare. So as much as we'd have liked to explore this new monument, we had to continue moving. This server wiped minutes ago and was filling up quickly. If we didn't move fast, another group would take the chance. And judging by all of these nakeds rushing this fake tugboat, there was going to be competition for them. He had a door and everything. He had a key lock. Dude, he was ready to secure. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, let's go to the harbor. There's cloth here, right? I don't want this guy getting it. Oh my god, this guy's like full kit. Bone helmet. Wait, there's a lot. Hit one. Dead. Hit this guy. Down. Another one to your left. It's 
just ditching. He's got he's out of there. I'm gonna loot these two. Dude, they're fucking loaded. 300 scrap. No way. He's got a med on him too, if you could loot that. Yeah. We're, getting, we're getting shot at from he, This guy crawled. Oh my dude, they're so stacked. They are fucking loaded. He's got a hazy. Let's just keep going to fishing village, I guess. Oh yeah. my god, I got 700 cloth and like 1100 metal fragments. Jesus. We just ran up on the boys. That third dude must have been loaded. I'm just gonna buy a boat. Like, I got 600 scrap, bro. Yeah, you might as well. I feel like one of the best things we can do is take oil rig and try and get armor doors. Yeah. We can also craft them if we get a workbench. What kind of BPs do you have? I think literally everything. Even armor door? Yeah, like even like car parts. I think I just did all three tech trees. Holy, yeah. I'm actually gonna drop this wood door. That thing's useless now that I have so much metal. Just a small motorboat. Okay, goodbye. We gotta, we gotta just gun for it, man. We just gotta hope. Yeah, let's book it. Before we continue our search for a tugboat, I want to give you guys another chance to grab some free sample packs from Gamer Subs. I'm switching my code blue back to free shipping. So if you were met with a small fee when trying to get sample packs before, there will be no payment info required at all now. If you're unfamiliar with Gamer Subs, they make the best energy drinks in the space with zero calories and zero sugars. The only problem I ran into was that I didn't have a shaker cup that matched my setup. So we changed that. We just started production on my own blueprint themed shaker. It won't be dropping until a couple of months from now, so I'm a little ahead of myself, but I wanted to give you a little sneak peek. Ready? Okay, that's all you get. I promise this is going to be one of the coolest shakers you've seen. So whether you've tried gamer subs before or not, this is your chance to give it a taste without spending a penny. Check out the free samples using my link down below. Thanks for tuning in. Now, let's find that tugboat. We're gonna we're gonna pass both harbors here, so that's good. But I don't know, judging by three guys with like 600 scrap. I don't know if there's much hope here. Yeah, we'll see. What's that? Is that it? That looks like it. There's one out in the open right here. Let's check out this one. Let's check out this one. There might be a person in it. It looks like secured with wood door on the top. Oh, you're right. The bottom one isn't locked. Oh, they only secured one side. Oh, yeah, nice. We can take this over then. To this naked. Nice. Dude, let's go! <laughs> we got it! Uh, I'm gonna take the low grade out of the boat, and we just take this. Yeah. This is perfect. Like, who cares if there's a door on one side? We break it. Okay, I cleared the TC. Wait, you, you can clear TC? Where is that? Yeah, you have to mount this. Oh, authorized? Perfect. Okay, authorized. Open storage. I, I got 143 fuel in there. Okay. It's two metal doors, and then I can work on breaking that wood one. All right, cool. I'm making two bags for us, too. Okay, perfect. Dude, look at this. Bear rug. <laughs> Let's Damn. Go. So can you just deploy anything you want in here? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Not everything, but let's let's start getting out of here. I'm gonna start her up. You ready? Yep. Oh my god. Yo, dude. This thing kind of whips. Oh my god. Faster than I expected. This is sick. It's like every three to five. Yeah, like every five seconds you lose a fuel, which isn't even that bad. I think it's like a rib. Holy shit. All right, I got bags for us. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to name it Tug. Tug. You make a door and code lock for the top. I'm going to make a workbench and a research table. Oh, I can't yet. This is actually OP, dude. Like, what if we just drive out to the... Like corner of the map when we're not doing anything. That's what I'm saying. Like we like just what? drive out to the corner of the map and get off. Yeah, no one can even find us out there. Dude, yes. I think I can make an airlock. Like if I do this, right? Oh, yeah. And then we put like a locker right here. And then like it opens and then you can't like squeeze through. Right. Like I think that's the best way we can do it. There's a box. <laughs> yeah, it looks good to me. Oh yeah, there's no upkeep. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, no upkeep, no TC. I 
think it might be worth getting like a couple small boats that we use to like go to and from land rather than bring our home there you know oh yeah true yeah true we're going for a run i don't want to risk should we go back and, and grab our small boat yeah i think so because this thing shouldn't have to move that much so if we're bringing it around everywhere we're putting ourselves in a weird position all right you can stop right right here this is fun all right and then let's just go back out into the middle of the ocean yo yeah let's do a speed comparison it's kind of like, it's almost so like the speed faster. of cargo. Yeah, I'm definitely faster. Dude, this yeah, looks so like cool. Oh shit! Oh, oh! Dude, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we just take it out of render, so like, what, three squares, no one can see it from the beach. All right, this is probably good for now. We got ourselves a tugboat, but because the challenge of this wipe was to make it our main base, we had to treat it like one. That meant keeping it out of harm's way and as hidden as possible. So for most of this wipe, we'd be leaving it far out in the ocean where no other player has any business being. We'd then take our small boats back and forth to the mainland to make risk-free supply runs. Wanna if we start going then? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. All right, dude, this is sick. Oh, it already disappeared. Wait, really? Oh my God, yeah. that was so quick. It's, it's, it's rendered. It's like 400 meters. We might want to even move it even closer. Yeah, honestly, that might be overkill. Let's do a little farm run, though, on this island. See if we can get some stone. All right, I can't see donkey dick. I'm just getting a full inventory. Is there, like, two by two honeycombs on the water between, like this island and the mainland. I can totally see some clan just fully taking this island over. This island is insane. Yeah, it's a goaded island. Do they, they even have a lighthouse to themselves, dude? Recycler, cave. Nodes, trees, recycler, cave. I've seen like a chicken, so animals spawn on here. Wait, are you, someone might've just yoinked our small boat. Oh my God. I see yeah, some right. brick. How did, how did he sneak up? Oh, this motherfucker. I see him out there farming barrels. What the fuck was that? A table. A table? Fort girl moving a table. Sorry. Wait. Oh, guy's coming back. He might. No way. Try not to show yourself. Is that village? Is that village? Yeah. Wait, he just got out of the... T I'm going to try and swim over there. Oh my god, the boat's free. Come on. Swim faster. All right, we're good. We're good. Thank God. You know, he can borrow it. That's okay. Yeah. Dude, this new water is insane. I'm just gonna do that mission for now, the search for like 10 crates. Yeah, you know what? I'll start it too. Where is our tugboat spoon? We're like here. I don't. Wait, I don't see it. Isn't it supposed to be right here? Oh, oh what the fuck? Ah! What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What just happened? I just had a heart attack, bro. Dude, does that mean that like other people will only see it if they like go? into like right over it maybe <laughs> is all of our stuff okay like jesus let's put all the resources in in one box you know Got some beans the island we just visited was a sanctuary for us it was split off from the mainland so there'd hopefully be less players running around and it had everything we needed to keep things running on our mothership and yes I am calling our tugboat Mothership. The only thing it didn't have at the moment was animals. We needed them for animal fat for low grade to fuel our base. So we headed to another fishing village closer to the snow biome, farming barrels on the way, and finding a couple bears for the low grade we needed nearby. I accidentally abandoned my mission for my pump, so I wasn't able to do it, but Spoon did his and got his pump without any issues. We then recycled everything we gained from that run at the lighthouse there, so once when that was finished, we headed back to base. I got a green card, by the way, so we can like go to harbor and get blue. Okay, nice. Maybe go to water to get red, and then we're chilling. Oh yeah, there's only two red card. Oh no, we got power. We should try and do underwater lab. If we can rush tier three, we're gonna be golden. We can easily do underwater lab. It's like right here. We we park the tugboat like I don't know a couple grids to my right right now. Yep. Obviously not right over it, but like close enough that we can dive back. All right, we made it back. 
Also, I can bring out a rug. Let's see how... Oh, look at this. Boom. Oh, yeah. Boom. Cover that up. Damn, we got a lot from that recycle run. Some comps going. I got 380 low grade bags, so I'm going to make like... What should I make? Like two furnaces? Dude, what? I didn't even know you had to research rogue. Well, Spoon, you don't on my servers, so... Ah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. With that big recycle run, Spoon crafted a tier two workbench. We had this idea of creating a single door airlock with the deployables allowed in tugboats. Yeah, this is perfect. Oh, dude, it's and so look, good. And it even seals like here, like there's no gap. There's like almost no gap, yeah. Workbenches are the most durable item for this, but of course they're very expensive. So for now, we used a locker to complete the airlock. Now, if someone happens to kill us with a door open, they wouldn't have access to the whole base. With such limited space, we had to get creative with how we made it safer. So now that we had a tier two, Spoon was able to craft us both some tier two weapons. And with them, we ran labs. And I'm pretty much ready when you are. I just love that like people can't see anything that's going on in there. Yeah, this is so cool. All right, let's go. Off to labs. Get out right here. Yeah, it's perfect. There's like a lab right below us. Or an entrance, I mean. I can't see anything. Seems like we're okay. I got a bed. Let's go. Nice. That's going in the tugboat, baby. Um, all right. I think, should we bounce? Yeah, I'm getting getting angry in here. You're getting angry. It's a big lab, but not much crates, so I don't know. Yeah, kind of mid. You just start working for scrap, getting armor doors on our tugboat. I just realized there's like no green card monuments on this map other than Harvard. That's actually kind of bad. Like there's no sewer, there's no satellite, there's nothing. Yeah, you're right. Fuck. We got to do that quickly then. I'm down to just depot and go straight to Harvard if you want. Let's do it. To bring green card i got fuse all right nice man we got beds in there now we are chilling there's someone straight ahead someone straight ahead oh i'm dead one dead Both dead. There's one more. He's right on my body. He picked up his teammate. One dead. Oh my god, there's three more. I'm dead. Walter White. Wasn't Walter White the guys we stole the scrap from originally? Maybe. I got killed by him too. I'm gonna go back and see if I can get the boat back. Unfortunately, the attempt to get a blue key card from Harbor didn't work. We got jumped by the same group we bested at the beginning of the day. So I guess you could call it even now. We realized earlier that the two harbors on the map were the only places to get blue key cards through puzzles. Since harbor is also where tugboats spawn and everyone wanted to try out the new content, this area was a bit too hostile. They're still chilling around the area, by the way. Killed a bow guy with my sword. Killed Crossy too. Holy shit. Yeah, it's still here. Perfect. I got fuel. I'm out of here. While I was busy getting our boat back to Mothership, Spoon was busy farming the mainland and making his way to Outpost. For 100 scrap, you can just straight up buy blue keycards from a vending machine there. This was likely easier than doing the harbor puzzle. So he did this and crafted a couple of revolvers. After I dropped off the boat, I respawned on the mainland, met up with him, and together we headed to power plants to try and get a full set of cards for oil rig. Oh yeah, this is turned on. Someone might be running it. Fuck, okay. Wait, no, they're right here. 
More than one? Fuck, I think I downed one. Others hit twice. They're right in the center where we are. Uh... Hit him twice? I think I four killed one. Got him, got him. I think only one had SAR. I don't know what this guy had. His Revo. They had their own blue card, actually. So I'm just fucking loaded right now. Nice. I think I might recycle, get you geared up. Get bags. There's two tugboats right here on me. Like, literally, someone stole two tugboats and has them in the water over here. Damn. I just got compound bowed from like 300 meters. I'm super low. He's wearing your gear. Oh my god. Oh my god, he almost killed me. I see you. No, oh, we can try and run it. Yeah, let's run it. Do we need semi bodies? Road signs? Uh, I just recycle all of it. I, I, I say we just go. I don't want to overstay my welcome. Ooh, I just got a satchel. Let's go right. I didn't even know about this. You know, do you want to take that thoroughbred to village? Because you have all the poop. Okay, I'm just gonna buy a boat then. Is he yours? Oh god, it is a long way back. But we got red! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. Oh god, there's a boat straight ahead. Careful, start switching seats. They might be aiming at us. Ah oh, shit. Oh, I'm headshot. Start pressing W! Oh my god! Oh my god, I can't die. I can't die. No, Spoon, you're dead. It's all right. Go on without me. I had nothing. Oh my god. So I'm not sure if it was in my panic or what exactly happened, but my recording stopped right here. Spoon died to these guys that intercepted us in the water, but this was a noble sacrifice so I could slip away. I was able to get back home with all of the important loot, but I didn't realize my recording had randomly ended until about 30 minutes later when we decided to build a boat base in the snow. This wasn't breaching the rules we set in any way, because as long as it wasn't our main base where we stored all of our main loot, it was fair game. We decided on the snow because we figured it would be the most desolate area on the map, a place where we could farm without running into any other players. We also decided to build here because driving to and from our tugboat was tiresome. The only reason we were parking it so far away was for safety. In the snow, however, up until a couple hundred meters out, tons of icebergs and snow sheets generate. And with them spawn more tugboats, stagnant ones, like the one we saw at the ferry terminal. We moved Mothership to this location with us because at a quick glance, you may think it was just another abandoned tugboat, hidden in plain sight. If we could get away with this, it would save us a lot of time having to drive to and from our tugboats in the open ocean. All right, let's go. All right, how does it look out there? <laughs> it honestly does. I cannot tell the difference. Really? <laughs> like at a glance, you really wouldn't notice. Hidden in plain sight, dude. Yep. Genuinely, like imagine you're like a mini copter just going out here to farm, and you saw this. You wouldn't. Oh, you wouldn't think twice about it. Yeah. What is? What do we do now? We could take uh, some of this crude to water, so we can make a refinery. Oh yeah, true. Let's do that. Should I bring Jackie with me? Yeah, why not? Oh, 
way. No. I got barricade. It's a four man. We're fucking dead. We're fucking dead. We're genuinely dead. I tried to hit one. Do they have AK? Oh my god, I'm dead. They do have AK. I just got headshot by an AK. Fuck. Kill the one. Kill the one on the left. I'm down. I'm, I kill. I full kill two. Full kill two. There's only two There's more. There's four left. I can see. Four? There's four more. Yeah. If you come out, you can see. Oh, actually, there's five more. Dude, is that a joke? We gotta move this shit out of here. Like they're gonna come and and fucking boom this. Yeah. This wasn't exactly the welcome we were hoping for. Already, the snow seemed to be occupied by a large group. We barely even left our boat base before getting jumped. So we moved the farm Spoonkid got to our tugboat and made a crucial discovery. Dude, they're coming out of the cave again! Oh, that's where they live. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's six. Yeah, that's fucked, dude. Get out of there. Dude, let's get two Spaz 12s and wait in their cave. I'm up for that. In fact, we could go with DBs. This clan seemed to be living out of the cave, so we decided to head in with shotguns to get a closer look. Perfect. I think one's coming with torch. Fuck. Should we leave? Too late. Sea shroom. He was using the, the, the thing. How low is it? I'm jumping in it. He's, he's right under you. Forty-four ammo. Was he looking for a SAR? I'm sending the lift. Do you want it? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's a wood double door. Dude, if we had a satchel right now. I could go back and grab it. Broski. You might want to do that. All right, I'm going. You know what? I'm just going to suicide. Wait, drop me the DB if you're going to do that. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I'm just waiting for the wrath of six people to show up, dude. Yeah. Spoon and I entered the cave, and the timing couldn't have been better. Normally this drop kills you, but because we happened to be there right as one of them used it, I was able to investigate the backside of their cave base. They didn't even have a metal door protecting it. For one satchel, this was worth blowing into. So, Spoon Kid spawned back at our tugboat and brought one over to give it a look. There's no way a clan is so lazy that they only have one wooden double door, right? I mean, maybe. This is gonna be big. Oh shit, oh shit. Here we go, Spoon. This needs to be down to 170. Okay. Bust it on. Dude. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Careful. I think we can I think we can evade that. Yeah, Broke yeah, it? you can, you can, you can. Oh my what is happening down here? Dude, dude. Ooh. Oh my god. We need to find TC and seal this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start breaking bags. They're all on twig. A TC right here. Authorized. Oh my god. I'm, I'm clearing. I'm making VP and hammer. He's opening. One dead. There's a lot of them. VP hammer's crafting. Dude, no, oh. I killed three. Fuck, dude, if only there was a building plan and hammer. We should have dropped the, the workbench in front of there. I didn't even know they door. had one. I was looking for one. There's a two, three upstairs. Fuck, dude, I'm so fucking mad. I'm mad, too. It was all twig, dude. That was such a flub. Yeah, dude, if, if literally building plan and hammer would have saved it there, but like crafting times are ridiculous. It's like 30 seconds each. Yeah. 
There was just no way, there was no time to think. They were just down yeah, there, there was, so quickly. It, it, the, just everything was twig, so I was like, what the fuck do you even do here? I mean, it was worth a try. We didn't lose anything. No, it was still really, fun, but... yeah. I mean, three satchels, whatever. It was fun. Give me one second. Okay. Although we didn't really lose too much loot here, what we did lose was morale. We almost had this group's entire base. We were seconds from fully sealing, but they got back just in time. They were definitely going to lock it down properly now, so that was that. It was going to take a big win for us to bounce back from that loss. While Spoon was AFK, I was trying to think of what our next plan of action was, but that was quickly interrupted by some commotion outside. Spoon? Oh, dude, Spoon. Oh, we're fucked. Spoon! Spoon, get back! Do I dare look outside? Oh my god! Oh no. This is it. This is it. It's over. Oh no. Spoon Kid, please get back. Spoon, please. Oh no, no, brother, no, 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 please. no, no. Brother, please. Brother, please. No, what's going on? What's going There's on? There's a look out the window. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> He's raiding. What? He's raiding. Is that a C4 or is that a fake yeah, C4? I think it's real. Okay, I just put a workbench down. Oh my god! Beacon! Dude, I don't know how we peek this. Oh my god, there's so many. They're gonna- they're, do you have another- here, make locker, make locker. They're gonna push in. Get ready, right, back up. I'm flashed. One dead. Another one dead. One more dead. Can you place locker? I'm dead. Fuck. I can't- I can't put barricade. He's pushing in. One dead, one dead. Is he pushing? Not yet, not yet. I'm reloading. I'm holding, I'm holding. We need that locker 20 down. 20 seconds ASAP. on the locker, yeah. Okay, it's okay. One dead. Another one dead. I gotta reload. Eight seconds. You're up. I'm dead, I'm dead. Place the logger. Nice, nice. I respawn. Dude, my SAR just went through the wall. Here, here, here. I got your SAR. I got your SAR. It's Walter White! Oh, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a door and code lock. Okay. I shot him. He might be dead in there. No, no. Oh, then I can respawn. They're gonna like toss another grenade in after it breaks. Oh, oh fuck. No. Full killed one up there. I put key lock on. Nice. We have door on. We have door on. Holy fuck, bro. Are they moving? I think they're leaving. I can try and open this. Yeah. Dude, there's no way. We just defended that. Oh my god. Hey, you wanna let me out? I'm letting you out. Oh, oh. Sorry. dude. I think we did it. We did it. Dude, oh, that was a lot of people. Oh my god, yeah. Fuck, dude, that was brutal. That was insane. I cannot believe we, we, we held that down. We held that down. We need to move. <laughs> we this really does do not work. Move. We need that damn armored door. For real. 1c4 is too easy. So it turned out us dying in the cave was a blessing in disguise. Had we actually secured down there, we would not have been here to defend mother shit. And if we lose our base, we lose the whole point of this challenge. So defending a raid against another tugboat made it all worth it. Especially when it was Walter White's group. The same people we lost our first gear sets to at Harbor. 
between the six-man group and getting raided, this area was officially off limits now. So we packed our bags and headed back to the island. That's been working well for us so far. We really needed a tier three workbench so we could craft armored doors. One sheet metal door to all of our loot was a bit unsettling. So the plan was to park on the beach and recycle. But since we've been here last, things weren't as quiet. Ooh, sorry guy at Lighthouse. You need help? I need some help, yeah. There's multiple. They're coming. Someone's going up the staircase right now. Is that you at the staircase? No. He he's looking up at you? Hit him Hit three him? times. Dead. Yeah, nice. Oh! I can kill this guy. He's full dead, he had no idea. Nice. Two guys coming back, right behind you. Yeah, I saw him. Dead. That was just a naked though. Killed a Hazzy coming back. I'm gonna try and cover. Dude, this guy was loaded. He was doing a recycle trip. No way. I'm gonna keep recycling up here. Got 10 gears now too, so we can make two armored doors. Sweet. He was gonna recycle gears? What the fuck? These guys are so confused. They definitely live in the water and they're just, they have no idea how we have gear out here. I mean, I got enough for the tier three. Maybe I just head back now. Okay, I'm just gonna go loot that hazmat. Oh, this guy just had a crossbow and fucking Revo. Yeah, they had like probably 500 plus scrap worth of stuff. That's huge. With the recycle trip done, we were able to craft a tier three workbench and finish our airlock. Now, if our door, which was now armored, was left open, they'd have to use genuine explosives to get through the workbenches. But this wasn't the only upgrade we made. I decided to fully renovate the interior. I had an idea of creating a maze of lockers. We'd have plenty of cover to use and time to re-gear if they tried pushing in. It took a while moving everything around, but by the time I was finished, I was very proud of it. All right, so check it out, dude. Very nice. I like this. When when people jump on this, they have to crouch, which slows them down, you know? Right. Yeah, this is like the basic idea, and I'm loving this. Yeah, I like it. Person. Person? Yeah, there's someone coming up. DB, he's dead. With the tugboat renovations finished, we still had a ton of resources to use. Since the snow was out of the question, we just decided to settle down here. This island has been fruitful for us so far, and it had everything we needed to survive. Plus, as opposed to a six-man and a raid party, the rivals on this island weren't much of a threat. So we started work on a new, improved boat base and a large furnace base. Fuel was a big issue as well, since the tugboat used so much to get around. So we made sure to add space for an oil refinery in our boat base to smelt down our crude oil for low grade. After spending so much time farming this island, building and renovating to get all of this done, we needed to do something action-oriented again. So, Spoon and I headed over to the base we presumed was theirs to give it a look and see if they were still active. Yeah, they haven't expanded at all. I think they quit after they got rolled. They might have, honestly. Dude, this is so raidable with five rockets. Yeah, I think so. So with this top door, there, there is a garage door under. You can see they have a garage door there. Gotcha, yeah. Um, so honestly, the front doors might be the cheapest. It's just two True. sheet doors. Two and sheet doors to the same, like, core area. Right. Perfect, okay. So, if you're down, we could just go for it. Yeah, I'm down. I'll just, like, finish crafting the stuff, and then we can do it. Sweet. All right, I'm almost done crafting. When you say almost done, what do you mean exactly? Yeah, five rockets. I'm just making some expo ammo. The final sulfur just finished cooking. Should I bring 8k to this? If you want to bring- yeah, you bring 8k if you want, and then I can rock it. Alright, let's hope this goes well.
doing in there? Uh, it's pretty open. I think TC's in here. I'm just gonna rocket it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. TC? Yeah, it's unlocked. There's a shoddy trap. It's unlocked? Yeah. empty yeah it is dude that's huge that it's unlocked actually dude let's clear authorized i'm gonna make a door and code lock yeah it's a four man nice big all right loop tour how's it looking oh it's 40 gears bro 40 gears yes no way. Okay, loot's pretty good. There's like three Tommies wow, in there. Wow, 40 gears, not kidding. Two Tommies. Okay, 4K sulfur. So much more boxes. It's a bunch of shit, man. With just five rockets, we were able to fully raid the only other group on this island. They had a solid amount of loot, but what really stood out was the gears. That was the main thing holding us back from making armored doors for the cabin of our tugboats. So we started transferring the loot. At first, we were relieved that we wiped out the only competition for this island. But while moving everything over, that relief was quickly squashed. There's someone at the, at the top of our hill 30. Like he looked kind of geared. You might want to watch out for this. We might get jumped. Let's depot and go check it out. He's dead. He's full kit. Careful, there might be more. What the? Huh? I don't know who this is. He has diving set though, which is interesting. Isn't that the same as this guy? This guy came up with a water pipe out of nowhere. Ramjet, Burlap, Baller, Demon Bug. Dude, yeah, there's three all like the people same. named the same thing. Oh yeah, they have different player models. Yeah, dude, what? That's freaky. Why that name? Oh. We got a guy at the top of the hill. Geared. Headshot hit. Oh yeah, he had a saw. He was just hazzy, baby. Oh my God, no way. It's a fourth guy with the same name. This is a different dude. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a clan, but they all have the same name. One of us. Demon bug. It's kind of a hard ass name. It is a hard ass name. I'm naming my Steam name Demon Bug next fucking wipe. Yeah, it's a good name. Do we need to transfer anything else? From the raid? There's probably a few things. i run over and look. Uh, Ooh, we're surrounded. Full kill the one. There's two more. Are they up top? That guy shouldn't be dead. Arctic dead? Yeah, yeah, one dead, one dead. Three times on him, maybe four. I'm gonna push up with you. He was right there. Yeah, you killed him. It's naked Sar. Bruh, is it them? Yep, four of them. Out of nowhere, this strange group of four started camping our base. Their arsenal ranged from full gear Thompson to naked with nail gun. With no other bases on the island and the whole name cult they had going on, none of this made any sense. They did nothing but donate gear to us though, so at the time, it wasn't anything to worry about. And after dealing with them, Cargo spawned in. Cargo's out again. We don't have a small boat though. Hey, you know what? There's a boat out there. Why don't we just take that? Wait, where? Like, uh, 50? Oh, that's fucking perfection. See you later. No, you can kind of like autopilot a little bit. It will start spinning, but like you can like ride up against cargo and like fucking shoot back and make sure I get on if there's anyone on it. <laughs> oh, true, yeah. Is there people on it? I can't tell. Scientist. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. There's someone boarding right now. Dude, you gotta be kidding me, man. I only headshot one. I say we go back to tugboat. Yeah, this is not worth it. 
Like, we go back to Tugboat and try and counter with that. Yeah, we can try. Yeah, we're definitely catching up. Sweet. I think you can just jump on Wait, go, the go, boat. Go, go left a little bit. I'm dead. Fuck. Yeah, it's right here. I got it. On my AK. Nice, nice, nice! Holy shit, dude. This is insane. Get is twice? he there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another rib coming up. Dude, we're getting pushed too much. I can't get close. Hit him once. Maybe we go left and I get on the rib? Yeah. Well, I'm on. Is there anyone on? There's someone definitely on here. He's just below. Two guys in a rowboat right ahead of the boat. I can kill him. Can kill him. I think I killed one. I think they're both dead. Yeah, I think so. I can just hold this down and, and cover until you get here. One full dead. Okay, I'm good on ammo now. I got plenty of ammo. I'm gonna board in like five seconds. Alright, I'm on. Okay. You wanna clear, clear below together? Yeah, sure. I can peek. I can like, you can bait me. I'm gonna go on the other side. Yeah, LMG's gonna be down here somewhere. Dude, where is this fucker? Wanna clear... Boat coming up? I think we push, I think we push. Dead? It was a naked? Yeah, okay, okay. Dude, I don't know where LMG is. No way he ditched, right? There's no way he, he ditched. He didn't even start this. I don't think so. I mean, he can't be up top because the scientist would have shot him. So yeah, it's clear. What the fuck? That is, that is very interesting. Weird. He probably just grabbed his friend's kit and just dipped. Okay. Dude, it Ramjet was on this at some point, bro. How? I do not like that. Say you? What do you mean? Oh, oh, just came. I didn't even see it. Fuck. I th they might have boarded. I'm not sure. They definitely did. Dead. Nice kill. I don't know how I missed that. Wait. There's no way that a scientist exists where I just saw one. That had to be a player. Like, unless if I'm seeing things, like, I 100% saw, like, a human figure walk across the front there. Ooh. Yep! Oh my god, nice. bro. Nice. <laughs> oh my shit god. I think that guy There's boarded no just now. This yeah, is, I think this is someone did. else. He had a Tommy. Monkey mode. All right, we got LR. Armored double, armored single. Which is kind of good for what we're doing. Oh, that's huge. We need those single doors. It's pretty bad. Uh, fuck. The crate loot on cargo was pretty bad, but at least we could say we countered it using the tugboats. There was a lot of PvP here, so we had nothing to complain about. After we got everything, we depoted all of the loot in our boat base, respawned where we left Mothership, and then drove it back home. We realized that using the tugboat as a tool rather than just our loot storage was a lot more fun. We wanted to do this more on things like oil rig, but without the risk of losing everything. So our next plan of action was to start farming up enough sulfur to raid another tugboat. Not for any loot necessarily, just so that we owned another tugboat that was more expendable. So that's what we set our minds to. But as we got ready to farm explosives for this, the perfect thing spawned in. Dude, Heli's coming in right above us. You want to take it? Dude, let's do it. We got to take it from the tugboat. We have to. I'm grabbing my kid in here. Let me know when you're on. Come on, let's go. I'm putting your LR in the small box here with like 80 bullets and some meds. Okay. Yeah, keep going straight, keep going straight.
Nice, got nice. it. Nice. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Huh? What? It's underwater. Oh my god. Oh! I'm keeping aggro on it, bro. <laughs> this is sick. Drive over there. No way. Wait, is there a boat right there at it? Oh my god, I think there is. Oh no, they're going for the crates. They're diving, they're diving. One dead? You killed yeah, one? on the boat, but... I'm, 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 going, I'm going down for the crates right now. Dude, I can't see anything. It's so dark. He's down here. It's monkey mode. Can you can you get a sword and get down here? Yeah, I got a combat knife. I got some crates. Is Yo, it? bro, let me get one of the crates, buddy. He's right. He's right here. He's right here. He, he got oh, rocket instinct. No, I'm gonna hit. Get his ass. Where'd he go? I fucking see him. I got rocket C4. Nice. He got a shitty rockets crate. That's all I saw him get. I think. I can't tell what that is. I don't know if that's him or if that's a, a body bag. I got him to nine health, so he might have bled out combined with like cold. He oh, true. Died. Yeah, you're right. And I see what looks like a body. Let me see if it's him. I got the last crate. Rocket C4 again. Nice. Yeah, I got him. You got it all? Yep, I got the instant rocket, whatever. Dude, let's go. Four C4, let's go raid some tough boats. <laughs> yeah, we got to do it. Dude, that was crazy. That was insane. So cool. All right, let's see it. Ooh. Dude, no way. That's an insane heli. That's a really good heli. Went surprisingly smoothly. And when you're moving, the rockets don't hit you. Dude, it's like almost easier to take heli from yeah. uh, a tugboat. We just took heli from Mothership. Easily one of the first, if not the first, heli takedowns from a tugboat. And the crate luck was insane. It allowed us to skip farming and get straight into our next task, raiding another tugboat. The night was getting late for both of us, but we wanted to do this one last thing before hopping off. So we grabbed our rib and some of the explosives and went out hunting for a target. Hey, everything's shut. We're all good. All right. I'm gonna mark it just in case. All right, you got all the shit on you? Yep. Let's go look for some tuggies. God damn it. <laughs> what was that? Was that your cat? Yeah, he just... Wait, we got a tugboat? Oh, hold on. It's one sheet door on the bottom. Why not crack it open? Got some boxes. Eh. Is there not a single item in here? Nope. There's another tugboat in the water. A scam. Let's go check that out, and then we'll take this over if, if there's nothing in that one. There's a ladder on the fucking front door. What's going on here? What kind of shenanigans? I see a large box with a bag with a sleeper. You want to just keep looking? See yeah, I find feel like this one. is a waste. Dude, this is crazy. We're like the most loaded tugboat on the server. Everyone else sucks. Yeah, you know, I don't think most people are going to risk putting it behind one door. <laughs> yeah. We need to find other YouTubers doing a challenge. Is that one right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that definitely is. Wait, they got solar panels on this thing. Oh my god. No, we need to take it over. Go up top, go up top and start raiding that. Let's drive it out of here. I got the fuel. I'm gonna authorize and then clear. He's on. No 
somewhere. Headshot hit the window. Yeah, I'm gonna break packs. It's not bad. It's a sarn here. Okay, it's pretty bad, like for what we spent on it, but it's a tugboat. Alright, Spoon, two tugboats. Let's get out of here. Living out of, defending a raid, countering cargo, taking heli, and now doing the raiding. All from a tugboat and all in one day. It was an action-packed 12 hours of playing with Spoon, but after such a long session, it was finally time to log off for the night. Hopefully, our tugboats were far enough out in the open ocean that nobody would find them overnight. Holy shit. It actually survived. No one found it. It didn't despawn. We got both of them, bro. We are good. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is awesome. Today is going to be so cool. The goals for today, man, it's like, I really want to do oil rig with our war boat, okay? So this is our war boat, because there's nothing in that really. And this is our base boat. And so I want to use our war boat more. I want to do more like oil rig, cargo, like stuff like that, because that was super cool. With how much progress we made yesterday, the list of things we wanted to do today weren't long. At the top of our list, though, was oil rig. We just had to see how much of a difference it made countering it with a tugboat. So now that we had a spare we could risk it on, the first thing I did was make it battle ready. This was our war boat. So when I remodeled the interior, I focused less on box space and more on space to move. There was a workbench airlock, beds for quick respawns, and extra gear inside, so if we died, we could respawn right away and get straight back into fighting again. By the time Spoon logged back in, it was ready. But before we had the chance to go to Oil Rig, Heli spawned in again. With how easy the last take was, we couldn't resist doing it again. Dude, see if you can tag Heli. It's like right here. Damn it! No! It's coming here, it's coming here. Nice. I'm gonna go out and, and loot it. Shitty rockets. Rocket C4. Nice. There's another one right below you. Rocket C4? No way. Dude, what? Oh, there it is. Shitty rockets, bro. What? So like, two sets of incense and two C4 rockets? Again, yeah. That is insane. Bro, look at this shit. Oh, <laughs> man. And some of those incense are like stacks of like five. We could recycle some of those and make a lot too. We got the exact same RNG as last time, so our boombox was stocking up quick. Starting off day two with a win like this, we decided to ride this momentum and go straight to oil rig. All right, I'm gonna go stash mothership and I'll respawn in the war boat. All right, uh, respawning. I'm here. <laughs> I'm late for oil, but doesn't matter. We're like halfway there. By the way, I'm pretty sure you can park it in a way to skip the dock and go straight to the first floor. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I see someone up oh, top. Oh, he sees us. Oh, there's another oh tugboat. Oh, my God. There's another tugboat. What the? F it just de-rendered. There's two tugboats. Bro Three, Three tugboats. tugboats. <laughs> what is happening? Dude, this is going to be an all-out war. He's opened his door over there. Careful. Yeah, you can do it. I'm up. Wait, that's sick. I'm gonna try and get this guy off you. I doubled him, he's dead, he's dead. Nice. Kill him again. I'm going over there. I'm going over there. I can take over his tugboat, I think. Okay. Oh, I'm 
dead. Sorry, you gotta They're respawn. Going heavily. Yeah. yeah, I got this guy's kit. There's a med kit in there if you want to use it to heal. Dude, 420 fuel. Holy. I fucked up their <laughs> authorization and they have no fuel in their boat. Damn, that's messed up. Dude, what is rig now? <laughs> what is rig? I know, this is hilarious. This is too much. Doubled him, I think. I doubled him. I hit him really hard, whatever it was. The Compound bow shooting up. me? Like, what? Dead with door open? Oh, shit. I'm going for that. Here, I'll, I'll go. I have, like, nothing. Yeah, okay, okay. He's dropping. He just went underwater. I have no idea where he is. Fucking DB was on our tugboat just now. I'm gonna break their beds. The, the other guy just went underwater. He's gone. I don't know where he is. Alright, their beds are broken. 30 seconds on crate. Still like a full kit on this guy. Full road sign. He looted what he could, but... So he must have just died Grenade away. launcher. He, he dropped out on the ground. Nice. Great unlock. Uh, LMG bolt, the MP5. Nice. Not bad. Boat coming in with like two people, I think. 110. I just went underwater. You know what? I'm getting down there with uh, my fucking combat knife, baby. Oh! Oh, he opened? What the fuck? Both dead, both dead. They have no response. So naked swimming back. Uh, there's not really anything in the box. I'm gonna break their bits. And yeah, pretty much cleaned out the boats. We really, we really did clear this out, dude. That was crazy. After this fight finally slowed down, we were satisfied with the oil rig counter. With three other tugboats there, it was the best case scenario for action. So Spoon and I returned home, but upon arrival, we were greeted by some old friends. Oh, I'm dead. Shit. It's ramjet. No way. Oh my God, they're close. There's a lot. Shot him. Oh my god, I'm super low. They got one on the hill, two pushing. I killed him, but the other guy pushed left. I'm dead. I'm on timers. dead. It's just AK. I think it's just one left. Yeah, it is. There's no meds in here, man. He's just holding. He's trying to run. Oh, I'm dead through the wall. What direction did you run? Running towards the lighthouse. Alright, I'm chasing. I'm trying to like cut him off and figure out where the fuck he lives. Finally got us. I'm at lighthouse. I don't know if he's swimming, but I'm gonna keep an eye on the coat. Oh yeah, I see him swimming. No way. Yeah, I see him. He's he, he went across. To the fishing village? Like uh he's running up to the cabins. Ramjet's group finally got the best of us. But this time we had a lead on the direction they lived. These guys have been randomly terrorizing our area, so we needed to get to the bottom of this. Spoon saw the last man standing swim back to the mainland towards the abandoned cabins. So I joined him to help him scope out the area. I'm here next to you. Do you have my kit as well? The M9? No, but I have an extra sore. Yeah, it's super low. That's fine. They're like northeast. Yeah, they were, cause they were trying to find me. Oh, they're coming up the hill right now? 
Ready? I killed two, I think. I killed AK for sure. I got AK. Oh, he did? One more. I can't see him. I can't see him. Is he push He's pushing your left. Come down to me. Come down to me. He's right here. Killed him. Oh. Nice. nice. Mid jump. Okay, they're going to be coming back. We should boot and get out of here. Nice. Good shit. Yeah, Ramja. I got his Tommy. Down, Good. of course. I got my... Oh, oh no. fuck. Hold on. You're Dead. crazy. You're crazy. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. oh, my God. I was out of ammo. That's that's so unlucky. That's my With bad. his last bullet, it broke, dude. Oh, my God. No, nah, dude. They just came back so fast. Where do they live? Because they're flanking us. They're coming from, like, multiple directions. It's they, like they, they got live in stashes. that big base. Thousand percent. That one on the west side of cabins. Oh, man. No. Oh, I got up. I'm going to go check out the vase that you think is theirs. Yeah, they're running in right now. It isn't a very big base, but like there's so many doors like everywhere. They have so many entrances. What we didn't deem as much of a threat yesterday were now officially our main enemies. We may have gotten a few gear sets from them the first time we met, but losing an AK to them just now definitely put them ahead in terms of getting the better of us. Plus, almost getting it back only to die shortly after stung the most. Despite this, it was still nothing we couldn't make up for, especially when Heli spawned in again. And it's at the top, the top of the map. Left. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move it. Oh my god, that would have been bad. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Oh god. Oh, that's hitting us. Got it. Nice. All right, come grab a set. Holy. I had five bullets left. C4 rockets, first crate. Okay. <laughs> Poop rockets. M249. Oh my god, dude. This is why we couldn't let Demon Bug take it, baby. It's right here. M39. From our third heli take of the wipe, we got more C4 and rockets and an M249. Slowly but surely, building up a massive stash of raid equipment entirely from taking heli. And now, we had a target. The only issue was that there was at least five of them now. The four demon bugs and another named Resify. As a duo, an online raid against five would be tough. But with the current size of their base, definitely possible. So the two of us respawned over there to scout it again. But we were met with a base that looked way different. Bruh. No, man. They have a compound with furnaces and everything now. Dude, this is scuffed. I'm dead. Oh. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm thinking, fuck. Since the last time we've been here, the demon bugs already expanded to a fully functioning compound with furnaces. Active large furnaces only means a group plans to expand even further. So online rating this as a duo was a pipe dream now. With this realization, we swept any ideas of raiding demon bug aside and took a bit of a break. Well, at least I did. I hopped off the server entirely to eat some lunch but Spoon stayed on to recycle. I wasn't gone for more than 30 minutes or so when Spoon spotted something unusual. Guys, there might be something going down. I just saw three dudes, very geared, running towards our base. We might be getting raided. Oh no. Oh no, we are. 
Bluebird. I'm here. We are getting raided by those guys. Oh shit. I gotta open rust. I'm gonna do what I can, but it's not looking great. Okay, they raided the furnace base, not the... I'm dead. Ooh, I think I might have killed two. Okay. Bro, I got a 13 player queue. Oh shit. Alright, I'll do my best. AK oh. guys in there. When I started joining, there's 13 players ahead, and now there's 12. It's not looking good. Oh no, I think they're raiding the tug of war base now. Oh fuck. Dude, this is pain. Yeah, yeah they're raiding it. Shit. Fuck. I don't think I'll even have time to respawn. Dude, I would have been in, like, a while ago if there wasn't this stupid queue. Yeah. Out of nowhere, the demon bugs crafted rockets, pulled up to our island, and did as they damn well pleased. Of course, I just happened to be offline while they did this. I probably would have logged in just in time to defend our warboats, but I got hit with a 20-minute queue to the server, and so we lost the raid. Before I took my break, we saw the state of their base and figured it wasn't worth it. They only stole an AK from us at the time, so it wasn't a big deal. But after this, we were really pissed off. Our furnace base didn't have much loot inside, but they did TC grief it, which stopped us from being able to use it. However, losing the furnace base didn't bother us as much as losing our war boats did. There was a lot of valuable loot and time invested into it. So little did Demon Bug know that this little raid stunt meant war. Spoon and I were now determined to raid them back. But the circumstances here haven't changed. We were still outnumbered and at a major disadvantage. The last thing we wanted to do was donate a bunch of explosives to our enemies. So it was time to even the playing field. Spoonkin invited his best man, Lucky Llama, and I invited mine, his figure. Within the hour, they joined the server, we geared them up, and we began preparing a game plan. Four players strong now, our chances of successfully raiding Demon Bug were much greater. But before we had the chance to fully recover from Demon Bug's raid, we were immediately put to the test. Why do I feel like I just saw like they're raiding our boat base? No way. I can respawn there actually. Okay. Dude, they are like double rocketing. They they gotta be in soon. There's no way. Yeah, they're NTC. I sp they raided from like the boat side. Yeah, my my bag just disappeared. Oh my god. They have a tugboat. Oh my god, the thing is crawling. Yeah, they got so many people. All right. Well, I hope you guys are warmed up because this is about to get fucking crazy. That guy should be dead over there on the on the base. They have so many. What the fuck? One more on boat. Kill the guy on boat. I'm gonna push in. I think there's still one in base. Yeah, there is. There is. Kill naked. That. Yeah, there. Kill the guy in the, in the base. These are different dudes. Kill the guy on the boat. One more in the base. More on the base, dude. Two in base, two. Oh, I'm dead. One's in, one's on top. Kill one on top. I'm dead, I'm dead. Nice, I'm going for that body. Oh, I'm down, I'm down. Can you pick me up, Spoon? I'm right below you. Nice, Llama's going crazy. They, they, they got so much rockets. We should blow theirs open. It's just a sheet door. Yeah, yeah, we will, we will. Can we secure like some of this gear? 
Yeah, Loma, hold that door. I'll, I'll just put shit inside. Are they taking off or is that us doing that? No, no, that's this Loma. Yeah, yeah, let's let's clear their TC and everything if we have access to the top. All right, I'm coming. I got some incense for it as well. How's our base doing? Did we get all the kits out of that? Good shit with the M2, by the way. Oh, Loma. there's five rockets in here. No way. way. I got I got like nine off of one of them, oh and they God. use so many. Let me keep all these. Okay, I'm blowing right now. Shooting an instant in there. Holy boxes. Yeah, they're all empty though. Wait, this isn't even Ramjet Spoon. This is literally a completely different group. So I guess the demon bugs weren't the only players on the server that wanted to raid us. A larger group that we didn't recognize pulled up with a lot more firepower and raided our boat base. There was pretty much nothing in there except a few low tier gear sets. So I'm sure after spending 15 rockets or so, they were really confused to not find anything. And probably even more confused when we pulled up in our own tugboat and wiped them. We took over their boats as well, but there wasn't any loot inside. After gathering what they did have on their bodies, however, we got another row of rockets as profits. At this point, we had more than enough boom to raid ourselves. Our boat base may have been in shambles after this, but we didn't even bother repairing. It did its job, and with the wipe closing out, we had our minds set on revenge. All right. It's time to MLRS. Dude, Spoon, this is it, bro. We literally lost our furnace base. We lost our boat base. Our <laughs> we lost our boat. secondary tugboat. We are on our final straw. That's just absolutely fucked. Our home. It's all we got left, man. Yeah, those were vacation homes. This is the only one that matters. This is our real home. Hey, Disfigure. How you doing, man? What's up? It's all yours, Disfigure. Take the wheel. What's Where going on? Just head to military base, pretty much. All right, do you have enough stashes for like all the MLRS in your kit? Yeah, I got two. All right. All right. Is that the base up there? That is literally the base, yeah. Yeah, park it like under this is perfect. Noob base. Let's go, guys. All right, right here. All right, we had just enough. I have 90 frags. With the raid base finished without a hitch and the demon bugs online, things were going great so far. So now that we were ready, it was time for Spoon to respawn back at the bags we placed at military base to launch the MLRS strike. All right, I'm sending it. Did you get a hit marker? Yeah, I got a lot of hit markers. Oh, dude, you just killed so many, I bet. Oh my god, dude, their base is fucking gone. We should, like, toss an instant rocket at the, at the walls facing us. We ain't wasting no time. <laughs> Found that shit, baby. Can't really see him. Someone's in water on the left. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See him? Is it possible for you to drop this figure? Yeah. Picking up. I see TC. TC's right here. I can, I can blow it with uh, instant shell shells. Can someone boost me up here? Kill this guy. Tommy dead. 
I'm gonna see for these two garages up here. They're gonna be one rocket each. Four is completely over. Okay. I got rockets. Nice. Keep it up. Feel naked up here, trying to open. I think these just lead out. Yeah, these just lead out. There was a guy right where you just uh, get AK. Probably jumped up. Killed him, killed him. Killed AK outside. I, I, have, I have beds, I have beds. I mean, we got main loot if you guys want to grab shit. I'm gonna start breaking beds. The rockets. Just teabagged in front of him and killed him when he spawned. It looked like every door opened down here. Like nice. The, turns the loot loose. Dude, you blew straight to TC Spoon. <laughs> yeah, that was money. I think we actually profited. They no had way. Uh, 12 rockets. Oh, shit. I think that's basically what we used. Uh, yeah, like more or less. The raid couldn't have gone better. Pairing the MLRS strike with an immediate follow-up with rockets really disoriented them and allowed us to fully take control within a matter of minutes. Looking at how smooth this went, you may think that we could have done this as a duo. But with Llama in the raid base with M2 applying pressure and Disfigure on the ground with us, two more helping hands went a long way. Regardless, we were just happy to have made it an online raid so we could cross out this enemy with confidence. With the demon bugs evicted, however, we still had one minor problem. That was supposed to use up all of our rockets, but since Spoon found even more in their loot room, paired with the leftover rockets we brought, it would be a mistake to not use them before getting off. Obviously, we'd have loved to return fire to whoever raided our boat base, but because we've never seen any of their names before, we had no idea who to look out for. So, we set out for a roam to raid the first random online base we found, but that's when I had an idea. Alright, let's see what we can find. Dude, we, we can hit something big with this. Dude, I can't believe people play like this all wipe and like genuinely think they have fun. Like I just feel invincible right now with the four of us roaming. Play more than this. We ran into like eight mans yesterday. I know, but like, wait a minute, spoon. The cave. Oh, we gotta go to the cave. We gotta go to the cave, dude. Fuck yeah. How could we forget about the cave? After failing to raid it the first time at the start of our wipe, Spoon and I now realized we were up for some redemption. We had nearly two rows of rockets plus a ton of C4. Even if it was heavily fortified now, there was a chance we could win this. So we set our course for the clan cave. That will be a good way to end it. If they're online, they're fucked. Because I have like 30 incense rockets. I'm just going to send all of them in there. All right, we just crossed through water and we're there. He just, he just killed me. Oh my god, he killed both of you. Bruh. Just got absolutely beat. Shit. Should we wait or just... I mean, we could hold it down. I think it's just one guy. So I can't hold, like, anything. Dude, there's, there's people outside of our tugboat. With what? I don't know, I think rocket launcher. Oh, what the fuck? I mean, they, they, they ran away, but I'm gonna move our boat. Oh my god, they're trying to torpedo it, actually. Oh, shit! We're getting rocketed! I don't know what to do! Bro, our, our, our boat base is gone. This is brutal. If you're confused about what just happened, I felt the exact same way. While passing by a random base in the snow to get to the clan cave, both Disfigure and I got clipped by a roof camper. I didn't have any close respawns, so I just spawned back in mother ship, but dying to this random roof camper turned out to be destiny. 
because at that exact moment, our tugboat was being scouted by a raid party. After being through so much of this wipe with Mothership, this was how fast it all fell apart. Demon Bug raiding our furnace base and war boat made sense, but one group raiding our boat base and another raiding Mothership left us baffled. The only conclusion we could come to was that we were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. But we couldn't sit there and connect the dots now. The last thing we had to our names, our explosives, were at risk. However, Spoon and Llama were able to hold down the roof camper long enough for Disfigure and I to get back and escape. We were able to re-secure our explosives. So with a mission and nothing more to lose, we continued our trek to finish what we started. Wait, it's active in there. Like I can see a campfire. It's an armored wall, like straight up. I mean, we can do it. Should we try the bucket? We could do the bucket or we could just send it. Bucket, well, how are we gonna get down? Maybe we do shoot an incend and just full send. Try and ride it. We arrived at the cave. But since we've been here last, they've made some major upgrades. Their entrance was now sealed with armored walls, so the cheapest way in was by the bucket. We needed to get somebody down there to activate it, so the idea was to ride some fire. If you didn't know, fire drops slowly, and if you're being damaged by it, you will drop slowly with it. So. I gave it a try. Who's got an incend? I'll fucking do it. Yeah. Someone want to take my rockets? If you could just hit E on the bucket at least, if you're done. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm gonna kind of shoot it like on the side, so that the big one. <laughs> <laughs> that fell so much faster than I thought. It Okay, so that's a great example of how to not do that. After my failed attempt, Llama was somehow able to get down there without dying. Oh, Llama made it. How did he do that? Wait, what? Dude, I don't even what? know what he did, he's just down there. This was the green light Spoon Kid needed to jump down as well. But right as he did, the owners started fighting back. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, is there a turret down there? There's a shotgun trap. I think we're good. Now that the pressure was on, they couldn't just sit there and wait for me to come back. They had to start the raid without me. Alright, I'm just gonna start. Sandy. Rocketing, if you can just hold. Yeah, I'm I'm down here. Wait, 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 wait. This is the people who raided our mothership. No. This is them. What are the fucking odds? Oh, we got TC. It's right here. No way. It's in that little tub. Yeah, should we go through the floor? Like, what do we do here? I have jackhammer, but that's gonna that take- That garage door Please. should be- Oh, the floor is low. Yeah, we could splash. Oh, he's what happened? What happened? Yo. Yeah. Yo, what happened to your tugboat? What happened to the tugboat? Spot. What happened to your tugboat? What happened? Bro. Ah, shit, dude. Uh, that's okay. I thought we were rocketing somewhere else. That's my bad. Clearly, the rust gods did not want me to be there for the most important part of the wipe. So, an explanation will have to do. Mid-raid, we just connected the dots and found out that the people who raided our boat base and mothership weren't two different groups at all. They were the same clan from the cave dating back to the start of our wipe. We had no clue until now because none of the names in the cave matched the names from the two raids. That's how many members this group had. Wuzfus was the only name I could connect to all three. 
So this Hail Mary raid wasn't just redemption, it was revenge as well. For sinking mothership and gloating about it, I made sure to grief their home beyond repair and ruin any chance they could continue using it, just like they did to us. Besides, with all of our assets being raided, we had nowhere to take this loot. So this cave became our tomb. I couldn't imagine a better way for our wipe to close out. For my first look at tugboats, this wipe was insane. We did literally everything there is to do in the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. But before hopping off for good, I had to say one last goodbye to our home. I just had to farm up the scrap to check on my boat, man. Mothership. No. Dude, they didn't even raid it. That's so sad. They literally just blew it up for sport. At least those guys didn't get any of the loot.